This video is sponsored by Nature's Blends Black Seed Products. Nurtured by the Ethiopian climate. Yeah, because uh, I mean, it's it's good climate, isn't it? And, and it helps with the quality of the black seed and stuff. It's cold pressed here yeah, and it's only done once. So it has all the good stuff flipping still left in there, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Black seed is sunnah. Yeah, but you didn't know that. And has been used for centuries for good health. That's that's that, that's a long time. Yeah, use the discount code S2J10 for 10% off. And so they continue flipping sponsoring me. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> An article that was released by the BBC, in particular Ofcom, the television regulator here in the UK, and they released a statistic that said that 50% of 10 year olds have a phone. Now I know adults, yeah, they're gonna be watching, they're gonna be gassed, they're gonna be excited, they're like, yo, he's gonna be cussing phones and technology. Hold your horses, yeah, just hold them. My dad is always on my back. Shh, be quiet. Have you done your homework? No. Because adults love moaning and blaming. At whatever level you're on, even if you're a politician, you love blaming the opposition. If for example you're unemployed, not doing much in life, you blame the immigrants. And parents are no less because of their own inadequacies. They blame technology, they blame phones. Yeah and I saw this one tweet where a person goes, parents that are on their phones a lot are complaining that Kids are on their phones a lot. And not to mention, who gives these 10 year olds hundreds of pounds to buy these phones? And then when you quiz the parents on this, they blame the times that we're living in. They blame society, flipping, they blame anything other than themselves. Well, you're probably wondering, what a waste of a video. What's the point? Are you? But this is very, very important, especially if you're a teacher, especially if you're a parent, especially if you're interacting with kids outside, pretty much every adult. Why? Because it's gonna influence how we speak to them. And let's face it, the sort of expectations that we have from them. Dad, 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 dad. Aren't you? You won't guess what happened at school today. Did you get an A grade? No, there was not even an exam. Well, you should have made an exam and passed it. That is why you're such a disappointment. For example, their attention span at family meetings and family times. It could be a practical expectation of respect and discipline. Because if you're not around to implement that and they're getting it from technology, you're handing them a very powerful weapon. And of course, it's going to affect the kids' knowledge of current affairs. You guys know what I mean. That there's news apps, good news apps and not so great news apps. You need to have at least a balance of a few that you can get a nuanced version of the news. They're gonna learn their morals and goals from Instagram and social media. If they're constantly seeing you know women that are beautifying themselves and you face tuning and you know posing and adding filters so their ideal of or their idea of beauty will be warped and of course molded by social media. And of course guys it's unfair, yeah? It's unfair that they're being mentally stimulated by all these colors and concepts and ideas and videos and programs that are you know vying for their attention and then suddenly you tell them to shut that off and sit down and read for half an hour or sit in a family meeting and listen to everybody yammer on and on or even get on the prayer mat and pray for 10 minutes straight. Can I go bowling with my friends? Bowling? Yeah bowling. Why are you bowling? What's the point of that? Just have a bit of fun. Drop and give me two rakats! Get on the prayer mat! Ah you read that Fatiha. I'm not saying don't do that, all I'm saying is you need to adjust your goalposts if you're gonna be introducing this into your child's life. And let's be frank, it's a war. That's right, uh, let me give you an example, yeah? TikTok, yeah, it relies purely on artificial intelligence. It doesn't care what your likes and dislikes are. You're on a video, if you're on it for let's just say more than five seconds, it knows you like it, it'll give you more of that video. If you're on it for less than five seconds and you're swiping, 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 it knows you don't like it. So in essence, the more you're on it, the more you're going to stay on it and keep going on it. Facebook and Instagram, they use psychological techniques like the bowl experiment that will a person keep eating 
if the bowl of soup keep getting filled up. They use that same principle with the unlimited scroll that if there is an end to that scroll, what's the likelihood of them going to page two compared to if there is an unlimited scroll. And let's not forget they've got Harvard, Oxford geniuses sitting around a table and get you guys to stay on social media and on your phones the longest. You got all these social medias vying and fighting with each other for biggest retention times. And not to forget if there's problems in the life of that child when they watch these things and they get notified and they get messages it releases dopamine which is the same hormone that gets released when you're intoxicated with drugs. So drugs is regulated, phones clearly are not regulated. Because of that the child is constantly getting the rush, something bad happens, they're on the phone and they forget about everything. So in essence they learn this lesson that whenever something happens I just mask it, I just cover it, I just ignore it. Naturally as they get older they're going to want bigger highs, they're gonna have bigger problems so then there's the likelihood of them turning to drugs for dopamine. So what's the solution I hear you ask? Are you? Well the first solution I would say is, I mean let's face it they're going to get the phone but delay it as much as you can. Especially in the early years that's when the mind and the uh, consciousness of the child is still being formed. Um, so spend as much time as you can with them, Yeah, entertain them in you know more natural ways, yeah? take them out, yeah? family picnics yeah, and you know balance it with work and play, get them to learn yeah, e equip them with the tools of life. Educate yourself uh, also in social media and on the harms and and all of these things about social media. Uh, you're going to teach me now are you? You're my teacher huh? No I didn't you're mean it You're going like, to teach I me. I didn't mean it like science. that dad. I taught you science. Yeah, I speak to so many parents they don't know about the social media that their child's on but yet they love to moan and groan. Be around your kid, yeah, your kid needs more time. Yeah, If it means you're gonna eat less, eat less. You're gonna live in less, drive in less, you know live and drive in less. If it means giving more time and attention to your kid. You know, some people that out most of the day earning money you can't bribe your kids. I have some. Oh where did this come from? <laughs> Ooh shiny. Dig yeah. dig 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 dig. Dad it's one tea. Well, at this age all they really want is your time. So my conclusion is you can't put a specific input in something and expect a totally different output. It's just not logical. You throw a tennis ball at the wall you're getting a tennis ball back. You're inputting all the social media and phone and all of these things into the child and you're expecting respect and you know um, high grades and you know a revolutionary child. That's just not, it's nonsensical mate. And let's face it some parents themselves are hardly ever around or if they are around they're depressed so flipping sort your lives out. Son, I don't know why you always do this. <laughs> you got a kid flipping sort your lives out yeah if you're coming home at the end of the day planting your feet in front of Netflix what are you teaching your kid? Exactly that and then because you're tired it's been a long day you shout at your kid you berate your kid and then he shuts up and then you're like yo this is some revolutionary parenting. I showered at him, I didn't have to delve deep in and do a psychoanalysis of my kid and see where the problems are actually rooted from. Ah forget all that, I just shout in his face and hopefully spit a little bit as well and that's gonna solve the whole problem. Get out of my house! Of course it's not gonna solve the whole problem, it might shut him up temporarily. You know what he or her is gonna do? Yeah that's right, they're gonna shut up when you're around but behind your back they're gonna be doing all sorts. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. I did something really bad today. Did you get caught? No. That's my boy! <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.